in our previous session we have created this simple table using html now what we are going to do instead of displaying the static data we are going to display the dynamic data okay this was our output one mango image okay this is whatever we are getting that is the static data now whatever we are having inside the database let me just come to products table whatever data i'm having inside this products table this entire thing should be displayed here okay entire data should be displayed so for that we are going to work total to this total sold this editing and this deleting also we are going to work but editing and deleting i'm just going to make separate videos but total sold also we are going to see now now here instead of this one i'm just going to display the dynamic data so here below this table body i'm just going to write here php syntax i'll just close this php syntax now inside this php i'm just going to write the php logic here i'll just create one variable i'll just give my variable name as get products inside this i'm just going to write this query select star from products table okay i want to select all the data from products table so i'm just going to write products table select star from products star means i'm just going to select all the data from the products table once i write this query i have to execute this one i'll be writing result and inside this i'm just going to write my sql i query and it is going to take two parameters first is our connection variable and second is our uh, this variable okay wherever we have written query i'm just going to copy this and here i'm just going to paste okay this connection file is present inside includes folder okay inside connect.php and this file we have already included here so when we execute this one we will not be getting any error then below this i'm just going to create while loop because i'm just going to run this each time because i'm having multiple products if i was having only one product then i don't need this while loop but i am having multiple products so i need this while loop unless and until my products are present i need to run this one and inside this i'm just going to create row whatever variable names you want you can give i'll just write here my sql i fetch asoc fetch asoc or fetch array whatever you want and inside this i'm just going to pass this result let me just change the spelling i'll copy this variable and inside this i'm just going to paste that one whatever result i am getting and how many times i am having inside the database that many times it should run now what i am going to do i'm just going to fetch all the data from the database so first i just need to fetch product id i'll just write here product id is equal to while fetching the while fetching database data we have to use this variable i'll just write here row and inside this whatever column name we are having inside the database you can see here i am having product id exact same thing i have to write i'll just write here product id okay this is the variable name this is the column name present inside the database table okay this should be exactly matching with this one if you don't do that you will be getting error okay this you can give anything then below that i am having let me just copy this one then i need to access product title you can see product title i'll just write here product title i'm just giving same name for variables so that it will not be confused then we are having a product description i'm not going to access product keywords i'm so product keywords also i don't need product image i want to access i here i'm having three images as of now i'm just going to access the first image product image 1 i'll just write here product image 1 i'll copy and here i'm going to paste okay whichever image you want to display you can do that one as well or whatever image you have displayed in the home page the same image you can display here then finally i just need product price okay this particular field i'll just write here product price i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste and also i just need to display the status status basically it is means this product is present or not if this product is present true if this product is not there then false i'll just copy this one here i'm just going to write status copy and paste now i have accessed all the data from the database now let me just show you the result i'll just write here echo product title copy paste i'll save this i'll come to my project i'll refresh this one you can see all the product titles whatever i am having inside the database that is been displayed let me just give one break here now you can see here i am having fresh mangoes fresh apples capsicum dairy milk and shoes whatever i am having inside the database let me just show you you can see fresh mangoes fresh apples capsicum dairy milk and shoes 
all the data has been displayed now in place of this i just have to display inside the table let me just remove this now here i'm just going to write echo i'll, I'll just write here quotes close this now inside this i just have to display this entire table row i'll copy this one and inside this i'm just going to paste now wherever i'm having this double quotes now instead of changing it everywhere i'll just show you the simple trick just copy this entire thing i'll just do control b and here somewhere i'm just going to create one file i'll just write here file i'll just paste that one i'll just do control f i'm just going to write here double quotes wherever i'm having double quotes i just have to replace with single quotes and this button i'm just going to click replace all you can see everything has been replaced now i'll just copy this one i'll just delete this file now i don't need this file delete now i'll come to view products i'll just remove this one i'm just going to paste okay instead of changing every time i have just created separate file i have pasted there and here i am getting the result okay wherever i was having double quotes i have just changed to single quotes now i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see here i am having totally five times i am having the result because five datas are present inside the database so here i am having this result okay as of now this footer is disturbing me so what i am going to do inside this index.php let me just come here um okay first let me just come to users profile.php let me just check whether this footer is fine or not i'll just come down i'll copy this and inside this view products inside this index.php i'm just going to paste that one here i'll save this now i'll refresh this one okay now it's fine you can see my footer is down okay now everything is fine i'll just remove this one okay i don't need this i have just removed okay for better understanding let me just comment this out and keep here okay later on if this is disturbing then again i'll just uncomment and i'll be using this one now if i refresh now you can see everything is working fine now what i am going to do now in place of this static data i need this particular data okay totally five times i am having this result because i have wrapped inside while loop here inside while loop i have wrapped so i am getting the result now i need number first so below this while loop i am just going to create one variable i'll just write here number is equal to 0 then here here i am just going to increase the number number plus plus now in place of this i just have to display the number i'll copy this variable and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this i'll refresh this one now 1 2 3 4 5 you can see all the numbers is been changed now in place of this mango i just have to display this title i'll copy this title and here i'm just going to paste then i have to display the image so here i have to create the image tag inside src i just have to display the image now my images are present inside this folder inside this product images folder my images are present so here i'll be writing product images and inside that i just have to pass this image name product image 1 i'll copy this and here i'm just going to paste then i'm just going to close this image tag then after this i'm having here uh, price i'll just copy this one here i'm going to paste and i'll just give this symbol then status i'm just going to copy from here here i'll be pasting that one i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here everything has been printed but my images are very very large so it is disturbing me a lot okay and also this horizontal scroll bar has gone because i have given overflow x to be hidden now what i'm going to do i'm just going to decrease the image size for this image i'm just going to give one class class i'll just write here product image i'll copy this class and inside this index.php let me just come up here i'm just going to paste that class now now for this i'm just going to give the width with let me just write here 30 percentage i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now still i have to reduce the width i'll just give here a uh, 10 percentage i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now i think it's fine okay whatever changes you want you can do 10% is fine for me and instead of this um, and also i'm just going to give object fit object fit to be contain 
object fit I'll just write here contain I'll save this now if I refresh this okay now it's fine here I'm having fresh mangoes apples okay everything is fine you can see all the data whatever we are having the product title image has been displayed price has been displayed total sold zero uh, through we are having okay everything has been displayed but here if you see my table structure is different before changing the table let me just show you one more trick now here i am having this while loop this while loop is starting here and this while loop is ending here now what i am going to do this php is starting here below this number i am just going to close this php okay why because i am just going to write php code again for this total sold for editing i have to write and for deleting i have to write so i am not going to do like that instead of writing like this i will be writing like this i am just going to remove this one now i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see unclosed okay here i'm having this closing php here i'm having this closing while loop so for this i'm just going to write here i'll just open this php okay now my while loop is ending here and everything is fine okay we will not be having any changes i'll refresh this you can see all the data has been printed but here instead of getting the dynamic data whatever i have written inside this one the same thing is been displayed now what I am going to do, I will just write here PHP, I will just write here echo, I will just close this PHP now. I will save this, now I will refresh this one, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, whatever data I am having inside the database, that is been displayed for me. Now inside this product title also, I am just going to do the same thing, PHP, echo, I will just close this PHP here. Again for product image also, I will just write here PHP, echo, product image again i'm just going to close here i'll save this now i'll refresh this one you can see all the data whatever i was having previously that is been displayed now in the same way for product price also i'm just going to do the same thing php echo product price i'll just close this php then for product status php echo then again i'm just going to close this one okay now i am doing previously i didn't do because i just wanted to show you like this also we can perform now I'll refresh this. Now you can see all the data, whatever we were having inside the database, the same data has been displayed. Now for this total sold, how many products has been sold for this particular thing, that number should be displayed here. Now inside this order spending table, we have already fetched all the data, whichever item is sold and we have displayed here. Okay, for this payment is not done. So still we are having order status is equal to pending. Okay, but this product is present inside order spending table. So what we are going to do now for this total sold, you can see inside this order spending table, we are having product ID is equal to 3, which means one item is sold from product 3. So only for this product 3, the number should be increased. For rest all, the number should be 0. So for that, here in, instead of 0, I am just going to write here PHP code. I will just close this PHP. Now here I am just going to create one variable. I will just write here get count is equal to, I am just going to write here select, select star from order spending i'll be writing here order spending order spending where product id okay this is the column name present inside order spending table is equal to this product id if this is equal to this only then i have to fetch that one and i have to count the number of rows present inside the database table i'll just copy the same line here i'm just going to paste result count i'll just write here result count I'll copy this variable and here I'm just going to paste. Now once I get this result, I have to count the number of rows. I'll just write here rows count is equal to, let me just write here rows count is equal to my SQLI num rows. Inside this, I'm just going to pass this variable. I'll copy and here I'm just going to paste. After that, I just have to display this one. Okay, how many counts I got? I just have to display that one. So, I'm just printing this. So, what I have done from order spending table, I'm just going to fetch whatever data I'm having inside the database. I'm just fetching that one. And here I'm getting, if this ID is getting matched with this ID, only then I'm executing the query and I'm counting the number of rows. If I'm having some data, then I'll be getting the count as one or two or three based on my requirement. If I'm not having anything, then I'll be getting zero as my result. Now you can see for all I'm having zero and inside the database only product ID 3 is been sold. Now I'll just refresh this one. You can see only for product ID 3, this total sold is increased to one. Okay, this is how we are going to perform. And this table, 
if you want to keep if you want to change whatever changes you want you can do it completely depends on your choice if you want to reduce the image or if you don't want to display the image if you want to display in this form that also you can do everything you can perform okay next we are going to work on table as well and also we are going to work on editing part and also we are going to work on deleting part once we are done with deleting part we are going to work on this next sessions like viewing categories viewing brands everything we are going to work